Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be having a look at a really awesome update to Nova Launcher that now brings the Android O notification badges onto any Android device. Now to do this you are going to need to run Nova Launcher Prime which is obviously going to be paid however I would definitely say it's worth it for all the other customization features as well as this one. So. Let's take a look. So head into your Nova Launcher settings and then into notification badges and you're gonna be greeted with the list of options that you've got here. Dynamic badges, generate badge icons from your notification content. Dots is what you'll see in Android O. And numeric badges pulls unread counts from supported apps using the Tesla Unread Companion app. So first up in dots, you've got some options here for large, medium and small dots, as well as positioning to the top right, top left, bottom left or bottom right. Now once you've done so and then you go back to your home screen, as you can see here it looks just like it does in Android O with the colours matching the application icon. And I want you to take note of WhatsApp at the bottom of the screen which at the moment does have a green badge next to it as you can see just there. However as you scroll through and look at some other notifications, different badges and things as you can see here, for some reason it doesn't always stay as it should. If I go down now to WhatsApp you can see there that it now has a red icon and at the top here it has a green icon. So sometimes it can be a little bit inconsistent, which is a bit of a shame. But overall, if you want to get the look and feel from Android O, this is the best way to do it on an unrooted Android device. Next up then, we have the numeric badges. Now, as I mentioned, this does need a third party application. However, it is actually still made by the guys that make Nova Launcher, so it's not technically third party. Now, what this one does is it pulls unread counts from supported apps using the Tesla Unread Companion app. So as you can see here, this is where you select all of the different applications that you want to have a notification on it. However, for some reason when I actually go in to apply this it doesn't always work. Now you do have a load of different settings here which is really awesome. So as you can see here you've got different colours and different you know ways to shape it. Again you've got large, medium, small and you can have on any corner of the application and again this is probably the most customizable unread count as you can see here out of the Nova Launcher settings. So in terms of notification badges if you want some deep customization then this is definitely the best way to go. Now I'm not sure if it is just a slight bug at the moment with Nova Launcher. However, this didn't seem to work on any of my applications. Now, I've used this in the past with older versions of Nova Launcher and it worked perfectly fine. So I'm not sure if this is a bug. I did report it in the Play Store as a little bit of a fault. So hopefully it will get fixed and it may not happen to you. So if you guys want to try it out, then by all means go ahead. But for some reason for me, I've exited out of the application, gone back in, changed it again. But as you can see here, it doesn't always apply. And again, I'm not 100% sure why. But by far my favourite badges has to be the dynamic badge. Now as you can see here the options are very limited with large, medium, small and again you can have it on any corner. But in terms of the look of these badges for the notifications I think they look really really nice. Now as you can see here it corresponds with the notifications that you would have in your drop down shade. So again if you've got a picture of someone for WhatsApp or in your contacts then that's going to show up if you've got a message or missed call. And just in general it looks really awesome with other applications as well. For for instance with the Google Mail application as you can see just there, the Google app, Google Drive, pretty much anything that has a notification is going to look really awesome. So as you can see here just on the Google search icon it's got a picture of some clouds so that's going to tell me that there's a weather notification within the Google search. Now again if you do want to get rid of this it's really easy to do. All you need to do is go into notifications, find the specific notification which again you can either interact with or just swipe away and then when you go back the icon will completely disappear so you can do this individually or you can clear all or in my opinion the best way to do it is just to go through your app drawer and see what notifications you've got have a look and respond as needed and that is going to do it guys for this video now if you've got any questions or comments about this then let me know in the comment section down below or on twitter at copper versus glass and if you did enjoy this video you know what to do hit that thumbs up down below and for more great content don't forget to subscribe now all links to nova launcher are going to be down in the description down below as well as the tesla unread count and also nova launcher prime so be sure to check that out thanks very much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video and don't forget guys, if you want to be one of the first people to see this video or future videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video.